Hi everyone, this is Fahad Mirza and I welcome you to the channel. We are continuing our coverage of AI comparisons of different AI models of different AI tools from various modalities and use cases. In today's video, we are doing a practical side-by-side -side comparison of some of the most promising AI models for local optical character recognition or OCR and also related document processing. Unlike generic lists or theory-based reviews, this selection comes straight from my direct experience working on real-world use cases for the last two years in AI. Everything from automating document ingestion to extracting code from PDF to handling tables and scientific notations locally and securely. The models which I am going to show you were not picked off a leaderboard. They were chosen because they delivered where it mattered most in actual projects on real data and with the kinds of hardware and privacy constraints that developers deal with every day we are going to break down strengths resource needs which ones excel at coding workflows from the images and wrap up with my recommendations for the best uses use cases for each model so you can pick the right tool for your own project so let's get started one more point is that all of the models which I'm going to show you today, which include this Intenvial, this ROLM OCR, Quant 2.5 in 32 billion, and I believe this is the production ready flavor, Meta Lama 3.211 billion vision, and this Got OCR 2. All of these I already have covered in detail one by one on the channel. So if you're interested, just search the channel with the name and you should be able to find a local installation and thorough testing video on that model. Now, as I said, these models are by no means the finite list. I will be covering more, but these are the ones which I keep reverting back to whenever I have a real world project and they have stood the test of the time. So let's get started and I will be talking not only individually, but also I will be giving you a very practical comparison. So let's start from the first one. This table gives you a big picture on each model. In done VL3 and Quant 2.5 VL are big powerful models for images plus text and logic and in some cases videos too but they demand serious GPU RAM and are more for server class local workstation or servers. ROLM OCR is nimble and simple, great for straight OCR jobs on average hardware and is fully open too. GOT OCR 2 is even lighter with a pure OCR first design, it's not a chatbot by the way, making it perfect for long documents or when you want maximum efficiency. Rest of the information about licensing and everything is there. I'm not going to uh, read the table verbatim. So you can see that just by looking at this table, you can make your quick decision. Let's talk about the actual crux of the matter OCR capabilities. Quant 2.5 VL32 billion and in turn VL3 both bring top tier OCR and layout knowledge with Quant 2.5 arguably best at parsing structured data which includes tables, forms, even JSON. ROLM OCR is great for classical OCR but is not really meant for extracting bounding boxes or structured output or layout, just the text. Lama 3.2 Vision which is a bit older but still covers a lot of vision plus text ground with doc VQA support but its structured output are thin and it's mostly limited to English for OCR. GOT OCR2 is built for high accuracy OCR, supporting flexible formats including formulas, code charts, and even region aware recognition. Another inter interesting bit and very, very common use case which I have found from various clients is this coding or coder workflow usefulness when it comes to the model. In turn, VL3 and Quant 2.5 VL32 billion are the clear choices if your workflow has code snippets, tables, or diagrams. As both parse structure well and handle reasoning on code, ROLM OCR is okay for text extraction 
like getting code from a PDF, but really won't help with layout or syntax highlighting. Llama Vision can do some syntax and basic code OCR, but is not really optimized for logic heavy tasks. Got OCR 2 stands out for anyone needing raw OCR on code, tables, sheet music or math. If you need explanation or debugging, I think you can't uh, really go well with this one, but maybe in the next version. This is very important where we have to take care of the resource and run practicality. Both GOAT, GOAT uh, OCR2 and ROLM OCR are super resource friendly and easy to use. Great for laptops or anyone without a beefy workstation with a lot of GPU VRAM. In turn, VL3, Quant 2.5 and Llama will need a big GPU. Especially Quant 2.5 VL32 billion at 32 billion parameters. But the good thing is they have um, the smaller variants in 7 billion, 8 billion, something like that, which you can check out. But if you have a large, medium to big enterprise, I think 32 billion parameter model is quite good. And 32 billion ones are mainly geared towards the heavy local inference. And then the recommended use cases. Well, this is very subjective, by the way. If your documents mix images, formulas, text, and you need deep understanding or agentic logic, in turn, VL3 and Quant 2.5 take the crown, assuming your hardware is up to it. ROLM OCR is your go to for quick, private document scans. Just text, fast and simple. Lama 3.2 Vision is flexible for content captioning and mixed modality, but with licensing and hardware limits. Got OCR2 is the most direct OCR tool for developers or researchers that need raw, accurate extraction with support for all sort of document structure, but not really any intelligent reasoning. So these tables and explanation should help you uh, you quickly understand which of these handpicked model is best for your own use case. Also, before I let you go, I want to introduce you to the sponsors of the video who are iGenPod. iGenPod lets you effortlessly deploy a personalized knowledge pod across platforms like Discord, Slack and others. It is ideal for open source tech communities and startups that provide user support. And I will drop the link to their website in video's description. So please do check them out. Also, I want to really request you that if these AI comparison videos are helping you, there are two requests. First is that please also share which OCR model you are using and for which use case so that we could all learn together because we are really working at bleeding edge and these things are still very, very new. Second, please, if you like the content, share it among your network and subscribe if you haven't already. Thanks for all the support.